Welcome back to Cooking with Laura Lee. I am Laura Lee. Today, I'm excited to share with you my fall beef burger with creamy bourbon gorgonzola sauce and baked rosemary fries. What a delightful treat. I was inspired to make this since we are in the fall season. Gorgonzola is my favorite cheese, and I'm looking forward to that comforting meal for the fall time. So if you're looking for a savory fall dish, look no further. All of your taste buds will be very satisfied with the pepper from the arugula and the sweetness from the pear and the saltiness from the gorgonzola. You will be completely satisfied after eating this. I hope you enjoy. I hope you make this. I hope this is a blessing for you and your family. The recipe will be linked in the description. my burger is a quarter pound so I did I measure it out but if you want to make them bigger go ahead and do so just know that making your burgers bigger will give you less burgers in total amount this gave me about 12 I think for 13 burgers uh, if you have four pounds you may get a little bit more anything from 12 to, to 16 burgers Now in my home, we usually just have sweet potatoes, but we were half and half on the regular sweet potato fries and um, the regular pinkle fries. So I did a little bit of both for this meal. Just go ahead and follow the instructions. Just put a little salt and pepper to season it. Now by in no means was this a super healthy meal. I used some of the reserve from the bacon oil. This is a very rich burger. Obviously, if you're trying to be healthier, then go ahead and switch your beef for turkey or chicken and use turkey bacon and whatever oil you prefer or a lighter cheese of your preference. Um, can I just say that smells fantastic. We're gonna let this simmer. Oh, that smells so good. And then we're gonna add some of this um, gorgonzola cheese. I cook down the liquids and the cheese for about 10 minutes on medium-low. Let it do its thing and kind of marry together. If for whatever reason you overcook it, just put a little uh, water or even um, chicken or beef broth. Always put your own little touches to it. If I was making this sauce by myself, I would have just put the pears right here into the sauce. Not everyone in my home would appreciate that flavor. Um, so that's why I chopped it up and added it to the arugula salad. Add your herb topping and now it's great. Thank you to my 183 subscribers. Your support is so awesome. You don't know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. I hope you will be a part of my family's meal. Know that you have an open invitation to tag me on my Instagram account, whether you make this dish or any other dishes that I've shared in the past. Make sure to comment on my Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook page, and also check me out in my Pinterest page as well. Thank you so much for watching.